Music expresses that which cannot be put into words, but on which it is impossible to be silent. There's a lot in there to talk about. I don't know either. There's a lot in there to talk about. Still processing, guy. Well, yes. Well, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Ready to play when you are, guy. Okay, run to monitor two. Haven't you got any food next door? Nothing so salubrious as yours. That's because you developed good habits when you were a married man. Anyway, how's that big project of yours coming along? It's getting there, Dave, it's getting there. But we wouldn't want to rush these things, would we? So what's the point of it anyway? You're trying to develop a friendly computer? He's already friendly, as long as you don't piss him off. Isn't that right, computer? Yeah, for sure, guy. See? But I'm working on refining the interface so everything fits better with human emotions. Maybe I could customise one for you. Make it really obnoxious.
She'll need to stay at your place next weekend. She'll need to go to music on Saturday morning, of course. And she's supposed to be visiting with Maddie on Sunday, but she'll tell you all about that. Yeah. As I mentioned last time, I'll drop her off to you about six o'clock on Friday, okay? Yep, okay. Thanks. See you later. Bye then. I'm getting tired and sick, so I was wondering... You still think I'm a child? Let's go to my land and you can show the camera what it's all about. My friends go out and get pissed every weekend. You're supposed to have a ticket. Go and get a piece of grass and give it to me. From over there. Why won't you just let me do what I want? Just chill out. As you can see, this person was very disobeyed and he needed a ticket, but he didn't have one. So now he has to go off and pick one. Don't talk to me! Just leave me alone! Try changing the chord in bar 5 to D half diminished. No worries, guy. Again from the top? You got any beers in the fridge, mate? Yeah, there's a couple in there. Can I have one? Yeah. Would you like one? Might as well. You know you're gonna go completely nutty playing with that thing. Hey, don't hurt his feelings. When was the last time you were on a date? Dave, that's a bit personal. Look, I'm a personal caring, sharing kind of guy. Mm. I notice you don't mind sharing my beer. Exactly. Now why don't you use your fancy contraption there for some good old digital chit chat? You reckon? How do you reckon I found all mine? I wouldn't like to say. Seriously, mate, you should give it a go. God, I hope she does her homework. Guy won't even ask her. But he'll be late. He's always a bit late. But he seems to be happy when we're together. This place has changed so much. I always say to meet here, I should go over to his side more. Maybe the whole thing's crazy. I always get carried away. Now, what should we search for?
Okay, let's find someone with a webcam on who's searching for this sort of music. Hey, you're getting something. Hey, what are you playing at, man? Um, sorry to startle you. I'm designing a new computer system and my computer tuned into your webcam. Oh yeah? Well, that's pretty cute. I hate to be the one to tell you this though. It's nothing new. What do you mean? I can go one better than that, baby. Check it out. <laughs> Take a shot, guy. How the hell do you know my name? Oh, well, let's just say I've been working on my own special people search function for a long time, man. So what are you really searching for? Well... Let me show you something. <laughs> Can you show me how to do that? <laughs> well, now all in good time. You're heading in the right direction. All these people are basically seeking one thing. Their own pleasure. But finding it isn't that easy. I like to help people do that. So Nick, how much would you want for me to use your studio just for a day? I need some video footage for my project. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, you can do me a favour sometime. Really? Yeah. I'll think of something. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a bit of footy, a bit of poetry, painting, like you name it. Sausage filling recipe. So he's, he does a restaurant reviews of all the bakeries that they go in, mm. proper restaurant reviews. Mm. The first one's actually at Spencer Street Station. So it's set before we've got this Southern Cross nightmare happening. Yeah. And did you ever go into the upstairs cafe at Spencer Street? I did once years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I used to actually really like Spencer Street Station because it was... It's like being in Vladivostok or something. I was going to say exactly, you could, could be anywhere. I know that's, that expression is used too much. Mm. Well, Spen but uh, Flinders Street's Melbourne. Yeah. Uh, Flinders Street, yeah. And the, the wonderful tiles, and adjust your dress, which is com coming out of the gentleman's toilet. I would have liked one of those. Yeah. So, so it also reminded me too, of like there was something about it that was actually just so sort of, um, oh, you know, but it reminded me of like being a kid and then going on holidays with the family, mm. like train holidays, yep. but leaving from this strange sort of alien sort of place that was it kind of, it was like the, ho like the holiday started as soon as you got there because it was so alien.
Here you go, Dad. Thanks, darling. Nick, thanks so much for this. Hey, that's fine, man. I'll bill you later. How's it looking, Johnny? Welcome. My guest today is Peter Merck, well known on Australia's performance poetry circuit and author of the novel Posing in Vast Spaces. Hi Peter. Good day. How are you today? Well, thanks. Good. What are you going to read for us? A poem called Morning. Morning bitter, morning sweet, the rain has made a river of our street. I rise at six, which is my fate, and place a fire in the blackened grate. Then pick up a book of Chekhov for my frown, and return to her and her eider down. It was manly of her to snub me, but I am as sentimental as any serving girl, and she'll pearl her cheeks as she sleeps with my tears. So have you been like on that net yet, guy? The dating stuff? Yeah. Give us a go. Haven't been on that long. Freddie's into it, aren't you, Freddie? Yeah. Had a girlfriend in Canada? Mm -hmm. Into the webcam sex. 
That sounds painful. Yeah, we broke up. She reckoned we weren't that compatible. Didn't worry me, though. We didn't have that much in common. There you go. There's a message from someone from Sweetlink, Sky. <laughs> Hi, Guy. My name's Angela. I read your profile and I thought I'd drop you a line. We seem to have quite a few things in common. It certainly makes a change to find someone whose musical taste goes beyond all kinds of music, even some old stuff from the 70s, but draw the line at jazz, classical and country. I see you also enjoy theatre. Thank you. 